you mentioned you like edgy characters, and I know that Elizabeth is a fan of John Fowles. Mm. I don't know if he's read these days. Is John Fowles read anymore? We all read The French Lieutenant's Woman and The Magus. I don't know if people still read him. Now, you liked him because you said he was out there. What yes. What did you mean by that? Um, what I loved about John Fowles is he was always taking risks with his writing, that he didn't ever write the same book twice. Mm -hmm. And sometimes his book, books worked, sometimes they didn't work, but he was always taking risks. And I, I loved that about him. He was a great artist. Um, and, and so when you're out there, it's sort of like you, you climb out on a limb with what you're writing. I remember reading um, A Maggot. And, and thinking the whole time I'm reading it, for God's sake, you better have an explanation about what this book means at the end of this book. I'm going to be really angry. And he did. He had to actually write an afterword that explained what the book had been about. Who do you read these days of current crime writers? Oh, current crime writers. Um, Tana French, whom I, I really love. Um, I read um, Kate Atkinson, who is, mm -hmm. you know, doing a larger type of novel. I always read my friends uh, Jeff Parker, T. Jefferson Parker, mm -hmm. and Robert Crace because mm -hmm. I we were I always say we were all pups together. Mm -hmm. We all got published at the exact same time, and so we've been buddies ever since. And I I read their books, and um, I you know I don't know if J. Wallace Martin is still being published here. I loved her. I think books. she's just got to publish her again. I think does she? I loved her books, but that she doesn't even sell in the United States. The only place I ever found her books was here. Mm. So those would be the main people who I read. That so I read. do you then pick up Gordy Knight or have his carcass? Oh well, I loved Gordy Knight. I remember reading that. Where the hell? Was? I think I was in England when I read that book. I think my husband and I were here traveling around England, and I didn't even want to leave the you know the the bed and breakfast or wherever we were staying because I was so caught up with that book. I loved it so much. I recently reread um, um, Busman's Honeymoon. Because v so sweetly, my editor at Hodder a few years ago gave me a first edition of, um, of Busman's Honeymoon. I think she, was it was for a wedding present. No, no, it was my birthday, I think, that she gave me that. And I, I opened it and I thought, no, oh, this can't be. <laughs> And it was. It was the first edition. Very nice so. people at Hodder and Stone. They are. What a, what a we have to say that. Yes, <laughs> they are.